Hello, hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm really excited because I am finally reacting to some. So basically, um, as a Dreamcatcher fan, there's well, as a Dreamcatcher fan who I'm trying to check my light. I know that's really annoying to keep looking away. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, as a, as a Dreamcatcher fan who watches a ton of reactions and is constantly sort of locked into what is said about them and uh, there are just bands that they get compared to a lot or that sort of come up in conversation about them and reactions or just people who will react to them and then say, oh, they remind me of this person or uh, they just have some fans in common, uh, which I guess boils down to other K-Rock or J-Rock, uh, girl or girl fronted, metal or rock bands. Um, so I've been wanting to check a few of these uh, guys out for a long, long time. So I finally felt like I recorded enough of things that are priority for me that I could dive into something kind of new. Um, so I have, and I don't know how to say anything. I do, <laughs> this is very random. But I have, so it's Q-W-E-R, which I want to pronounce as queer, but something tells me that's not right. So I'm guessing it's just an acronym, Q-W-E-R, I'm not sure what. And then I have their, so I did really pick these at random. And I have the, their MV4 TBH, which I, again, I want to say to be honest, but I don't know. Um, and then I have... This is kind of a bonus because I just picked one song for every band. So this is kind of a bonus. They did a cover of Fate by Idol. And I really want to hear what that sounds like from a band perspective. Because um, it has this sort of soft rock or, you know, kind of lighter OST type of a track, even though it is somewhere in the rock area. Um, so I wonder if with um, a group that has more of an actual band concept, uh, what that would sound like. And then I have Nemophilia or Nemophilia uh, Dissension. Uh, this is a group I've heard about. I've heard their name a lot over the year or so of being into DC. Um, and then, of course, the number one group that I hear not compared to Dreamcatcher, but that always seems to come up in discussions about them is Bandmate. So I've been curious about them for a long time. Actually, I've been curious about them since, I want to say before I even did a deep dive back into Dreamcatcher last, early last year. So I think I've been hearing about them for a few years now. Um, so I'm excited to finally get a taste of what they are about. So that's all I have, and um, I'm going to try and not pause these videos. There's four of them. Like I said, first up, we've got uh, TBH by QWER. I don't know if it's queer. Um, then Fate, their cover, Fate. Then I have Nemophilia, Dissension, and then the last one is Bandmate. Um, Real, I believe is the name of the song. Okay, so here you go. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, I think it looks good for you guys over here, but for me, the captions had gone, started sinking. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. <gasps> A manga? No way. Oh, choreo! <laughs> Ooh, I love that effect there. Rude! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> This is definitely one of the funniest and funnest MVs I've ever seen. <laughs> the vocal runs. Ooh, I love the way she's singing there. It's so fast. <laughs> this live reaction. Maybe it is pronounced queer, because what is this video? <laughs> I love this effect. It's used so well. Yeah. The whole 8 bit thing. Oh man. That was a lot of fun. It was so fast. It was just like, dun, 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 and it just never slowed down. <laughs> like the verses even have that sort of chaotic music. This, it's like, a, it's like they were living out a GL manga. That's wild. But it was very cute and very funny. <laughs> of course, I had no idea what to expect. Oh, I don't really have patience. I just want to get... Okay, so now we have... Um, their cover of Idol's Fate. So this is... I'm particularly intrigued by this. So let's go. Also, I really did like that the last song. I can't even say enough about it. <laughs> Wait, this is our. I'm gonna go back, but I was just gonna say that it's so funny that they have that. So this wasn't Fate was not um, a title track or official single from Idol from G Idol. It was a B side that skyrocketed for reasons I still don't fully understand. And they, so they put a little promotion into it because of that. I mean, it broke records. It's ridiculous. So they put a little promotion to it because of that. They performed it on a music show. And then they released like this official like live clip, special clip that they do uh, for some songs. And that really is just them kind of, you know, just standing there performing the song in like these school uniform type outfits but this is already starting off and this is just funny to me because this is starting off in a way that's it's more of an mv than than g idol even made from their own song <laughs> so it's, that just amused me right out the gate oh, oh my god it's gonna be like it's very literal so far oh my god <laughs> Oh, 
Stay true to the original, so far, yeah. Ooh. Oh, the keys are so much more pronounced. Oh, I think. Actually, maybe it's is it the bass line? I don't know, I think it's sticking pretty much to the original, but... I don't remember if the bass line stuck off so much to me with the, um, the title's original. Oh, that guitar is nasty. This. This. So cute. <laughs> okay. So I've only heard that was, by the way, you couldn't tell. Love that cover. I do, I need to, I shouldn't make any comparisons. I shouldn't make any comparisons whatsoever. I really don't even remember my response to Fate um, the first time I heard it. <laughs> and I don't think I've heard it many times since listening to the whole album uh, too. So I should just, you know, maybe just take back everything I said because I don't think I can make that comparison. Um, but to me, that was like hearing it. It may as well have been hearing it for the first time because I just don't remember. I don't remember my strong feelings about it. Um, but I loved what I heard. I'll say that much. Um, and I loved and I really thought the first song was really cool and you know and that's their original so that's even better um so as far as this band i think that i just read a little bit of an interview that they did um which is so weird like i haven't even listened to the music yet but i read a little bit of the interview because i just recognized their name and then there are two um Two reactors that like rock music that I watch Dreamcatcher reactions for, and they pointed out that this was just another group that they liked or band that they liked. Um, a, but a, a band that I did leave out of this because I forgot to put them in this playlist was Nightwish. I feel like I've heard that band name a lot, and I don't even know if it's uh, if it fits what seems to be the things that all these bands have in common. I don't even know if it fits that, but. There are also a few reactors I know who also uh, compare a lot of uh, Dreamcatcher stuff to Nightwish. Um, so that's another band that I think I'll check out at some point. But uh, yeah, I'm just want to say I'm particularly interested in uh, Nemophilia. One, because of the name is wild to me. And two, just because I, the type of people that I've heard mention being into this um, band that in itself is intriguing to me, like real metalheads. So that's interesting to me. Um, yeah, so, all right, let's go. Yep, sounds about right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm sorry. Because I, I wasn't ready for any of it. Now I definitely don't think it. Because <laughs> it definitely not, not definitely not a group that was compared to <laughs> Dreamcatcher, but a group that People who like Dreamcatcher like. <laughs> Definitely no comparison there. This is metal metal. Um, wow. This is heavy metal. This is cool as hell. Okay, I'm excited. Now this is where I live. What I listen to on a daily basis, this is my home. This is my heart. <laughs> Let's go.
fall. I don't even have anything to say. <laughs> I'm so sure and I'm so excited and so happy. Melodic as well. <laughs> Wait, is it a bass player or is it two? Oh, hold okay, on. Okay, so two guitars and the bass basses. Say that. <laughs> what was your day? I hate you. This is so cute. Now this part reminds me of Baby Meadow. Like, you know, this overwhelmingly metal, hardcore instrumentation. And then you just have some real striking with cute vocals. Oh God, so good. I wonder how she sounds without the vocal effect. Yes. Oh my god. It just keeps getting better. Oh. Hmm. I know there's so much stank face going on. <laughs> the stankiest reaction ever. <laughs> this one. Oh, just muting it just a little bit, stripping back, and just, oh, and then the drop. Perfect. This part. <laughs> well, I love you, but yeah, I respect your feeling. I hate you hate me. Um. Well, holy crap. Um. Moving on, <laughs> Bandmate Thrill. Yes, once again, so excited. Been hearing about this group for a long time. Um, and there's, uh, I don't know if I mentioned the Discord before I started this reaction, but there is an extremely persistent person in the Discord <laughs> who's been wanting a Bandmate reaction for a very long time. Um, and I was just like, you know, I'm going to get around to it. This has always been on my radar. This is always a band I've been interested in. Um, and so I'm happy to finally have something to offer that person. But more importantly, I'm so happy to finally be here and be able to hear them for the first time after, after so long of, you know, having them, you know, be very much on the radar for me, um, but just never getting around to checking them out. So, and I have a feeling that, because I'm just so other than any, more than any group here, because I'm so 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 aware of them, and I know so many people who like them. At some point, I'm sure that I will be doing a deeper dive into their discography so, as well. So let's go. Breaking new gate. 
Ah. It's immediately feeling more classic rock. Just that pick, actually kind of grungy. Okay. Oh yeah. Surprisingly grungy. Yeah. Yeah, it's like somewhere in, in between of grunge and classic rock. I love so okay. So it's two vocalists. Well, a main vocalist, I'm sure, and then a lead or backup vocalist. It's so minimal in the sense that there's not a ton of layers going on in the production. And that's the part that I think for me is sounding a bit more grunge. Because I feel like classic rock was very indulgent um, on the production. But this feels a lot more raw and it's more, a lot more stretched back. Like, they can play everything you hear, they can play it live. Like, it, feels, it sounds like it's that script effect. Ah, so good. Ever there. Also, I do appreciate the actual made outfit. Oh, that dun 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 that heavy guitar. Oh, that's my favorite kind of guitar. That's a bit of a slide. Yeah, love that slide. Wow. Well, I am a happy, 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 happy girl. Um, you know what I loved about that? It was all completely different. It was completely different. And all of it was completely different from Dreamcatcher, which is a lot more pop. Well, at least, at least in Korean music as a lot more pop, K-pop. That's why they're a K-pop group. But, um, but also what that kind of tells me is that I don't know, because I mean, when I'm deep in the conversations and I'm deep in on these pages and these blogs and these articles, these groups, come up together and I feel I hope I'm I don't want it to be this but it just feels like all of these groups have in common is that they're East Asian and they're girls like I don't know that I would ever if they weren't that those things or at least if they weren't East Asian I don't know that I would ever hear Nemophilia mentioned 
in the same breath as that first group that I checked out or that we checked out in this reaction. So I don't, I don't know, whatever. I'm not complaining because all of that stuff brought them to me. So <laughs> I can't complain. I can't complain at this point. I don't know. I'm in some twisted way. I guess I'd be a hypocrite if I uh, complain about it. But that was awesome. I, for me, it was three out of three. I liked every group. I gotta stop saying group. Now I'm talking about actual bands and I can't stop saying group. I liked every band. They all had completely different sounds. My favorite, I'm just, as I'm sure it was obvious, was Nemophilia. That was fucking hard. That, that's my thing. That's, that's very much my absolute favorite type of, type of music. Um, yeah, and Bandmate was so cool. Like I said, that to me was sounding, to me it felt very grunge now. I don't, I think that with rock music more than any other genre, people never agree <laughs> on what sub genres they're listening to. So for me, I was, which is great. I just, cause I mean, rock is just, it's an extremely broad, diverse genre. But like I said, for me, it was kind of the bandmate song was teetering on uh, classic and grunge. Um, and I was very satisfied with that. That's more of a, on my more casual end, so that's what I listen to a lot. Um, the first uh, Q QWER, that first band, the TVH, that was... That felt like the most, I, like J-Rock, but not even necessarily J-Rock. Well, well, what I, I know, I don't know a ton of J-Rock. Um, as I'm sure, you know, pr predictably for an ignorant American, I'm sure, um, my most of my expo exposure to J-Rock is through anime. Um, and that is what it reminded me of, but I know that that just reminded me of that because that's all I know. I'm not in the J-Rock scene. I don't know a ton of bands from that um, area, you know, from that sort of category or classification. Um, so that's the only thing I have to go off of. But it was so energetic. It was so fast, which was so interesting. It was it's so interesting to me. Whenever, whatever J-Rock I do know, when it's sort of doubling, tripling up, and it's like, and you know, it was kind of doing that double, triple time, but it feels very much like the vocalists are in control, and it feels very much like the band is like they fit. It, they were in control of, you know, of that, but the tempo was just so fast, um, which I so I thought that that was really impressive. It's a really fun song, a really fun MV. Um, they definitely caught in, in the fate cover was so good and. Again, really funny. So <laughs> I don't know if this is their thing. I'm very intrigued because I don't understand why they're so funny. <laughs> I don't understand that, that caught me off guard with that. I don't know what I was expecting, but I, I just don't expect MVs to actually make me genuinely laugh. <laughs> but, but they, you know, two random things I pick and I was very amused and, and surprised with both. But um, yeah, I this was a successful, uh, you know, little sample of of these bands and i would definitely say you can look forward to more of all of them from on this channel for me because i had a good time i had a good time um yeah well like comment and subscribe you know if that's what you want to do no pressure uh join the discord if that's what you want to do again no pressure um but please be happy and healthy tons of pressure do that that is all that is required. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you guys later.